Hello friends, in this video I will be explaining about Babel. So we have got one example here, where I am using one class A and in that there is a array dot from method as well. So what Babel does is that it takes this file, source file, which has got the modern features or the ES6 index. So this class keyword and array dot from, these were not available before ES6 and after ES6 these features were added. But the thing is that these features are not supported by older browsers and that is the reason why you want to transform this particular source code into such a code that browsers will understand. And to do that we are going to use Babel. So let us convert this one into older syntax. So here is the command that we have to use npx babel. This is the file name. Okay, one dash class dot js. This is the source code in that file and what we are telling is that the output should be stored in this disk directory. So I got this disk directory. If it is not there, it will automatically create for us. So I'm gonna delete this one for now. So I just hit enter and you can notice that this disk directory is created and there will be one file in that. So let's open this file and you will notice that this class a and this array dot from this is there as it is it is not been transformed only thing that has been added is use strict so you might be wondering why this transformation has not happened now here is the thing so by default babel is not gonna transform the syntax we need to tell babel how it should be transformed and that is done through the babel configuration file so we have got babel.config.json file here and here what we are telling is that we want to target this browser so javascript should be transformed in such a way that these browsers should be supported but all these browsers and these versions so h17 firefox 60 chrome 67 safari 11.1 .1, all these browsers support class syntax as well as any dot from method so if you go to this website canis.com you can see that ES6 classes are supported by Firefox starting from 45th of version. And array.from method is also supported by the Firefox starting from version 32. And we have given here the Firefox version as 60. So what it means is that even if the source code contains class keyword or array.from method, this browser is going to understand and then execute those statements. But if you do here 30 for example, so we will notice that in this particular uh, website caniuse.com, we can see that Firefox 30 doesn't support this array.from method as well as class syntax. So you can see the version 30 of Firefox doesn't support class and array.from method. So in this case what will happen now that we have changed the Firefox version to 30, when we convert this or transform this uh, particular source file using Babel, Babel is gonna make some changes in the output directory. So let us delete this list once again. And I'm going to run this npx Babel one more time. So this time around you will see a lot of changes in the output file as compared to the source file. So if you go to this disk directory, you can see this file has been generated and you see what has happened here. The class keyword has been removed and instead of that this transformation has happened. And also you will notice that this require CoreJS models array from string iterator these things have been added. So this is basically a polyfill that is being used by the Babel. Okay. And reason why this transformation has happened is because we want to support Firefox browser with version 30. Now let me tell you some important information about this Babel. So in most of the projects uh, what you will need to do is that you will need to install this Babel packages before you work with Babel. So Babel CLI, Babel Core and Babel Preset here with these packages you should install as a development dependency. 
So this Babel CLI is required if you want to execute these commands. For example, npx Babel, this command be executed, right? So this command is actually coming from this package Babel CLI. Babel code is the main transpiler. So this is the core package, you can say. And then there is a Babel preset env. So this is very important. So most of the work is happening through this preset env package. So this transformation that we have seen, this uh, the class keyword has been transformed as well as added out from this method has also been transformed so that transformation has happened because of this preset env okay so this is very very important this core js as you can see in the output we are using this core js so this is basically a polyfill that babel uses so the methods that are not supported by the older browsers for those methods this polyfills will be used and core js is one of the most popular library that implements these polyfills so as i said earlier babel does two things transformation of the modern syntax into the older syntax and another thing that it does is that it adds the polyfills as well now let me explain you why we need this babel preset env so we can transform the each feature independently so for example if you want to convert this arrow functions we will need this plugin at babel slash plugin transform arrow function so what it will do is that it will take the source file and if there is any arrow functions it will convert that okay and similarly we have another plugin say transform classes so what it will do is that it will take the source file and then convert the class syntax into the older syntax and similarly there are a lot of plugins okay but doing the configuration through uh, independent plugins is cumbersome and boring right and that is the reason we use the preset so with preset what happens is that all these plugins are clubbed together so you don't need to install it independently and just like we have got this preset env package we have got this babel preset flow babel preset react babel preset typescript to work with those kinds of projects so if you are working with react or typescript projects you will need to install these packages so most of the time you will be using webpack uh, bundler so bundler will be using these packages behind the scene so only thing that you need to understand about babel is that what it is doing is that it is transforming the source code modern source code into such a code that older browsers can understand so that browsers we can configure here in the babel config.json and it is recommended that you give here only those browsers which you want to support because if you do not specify here what happens is that babel tries to create such a code that very old browsers will understand and uh, in that process what happens is that the bundle size becomes very huge to avoid a very huge bundle size specify the exact versions of the browsers and babel will take care and then only transform the code in a such a way that only those browsers that are mentioned and the versions of the browsers that are mentioned will be supported that's it thanks for watching